Oh, it's alive here on Ghana Tonight. We're live on TV3, Ghana on Facebook, DSV Channel 279, all across the world on 3news.com. We're also live on 3FM 92.7. For those of you who are listening to us and driving right now, we've got you covered there. But coming up next year on Ghana Tonight, Ghana's judiciary is on the front banner following the Ibrahim impartiality index on the African governance uh, would get in there shortly here on Ghana tonight. What do Ghanaians think about the judiciary? Would love to hear from you. And this was by the Mo Ibrahim Foundation and this specifically the Ibrahim Index on African Governance. And, and this recent report by the Mo Ibrahim Foundation has revealed a significant decline of about 30% in the perceived impartiality of Ghana's judiciary between 2017 and 2023. Now, a report's indicator measures judicial impartiality based on factors such as the independence of the courts, the autonomy of the judges, and judicial appointment. Now, in 2014, Ghanaians' confidence in the judiciary's impartiality was rated 95.3% percentage points. And however, the, the study finds that this has dropped to 68.3%. That's as of 2023, about 27 points decline over the period. And I'm going to show you the trend graph in a bit. But we hit the streets to engage members of the general public on, on this as well, because this forms and captures the sentiments and the observation, the experiences of people with the judiciary. And you know that this is consistent with the likes of the Corruption Perception Index by the Transparency International Afrobarometer survey also captured similar sentiments as well. Emmanuel Samani is connecting me with me right now uh, with the people's voices on this. Uh, Samani, what are the people telling you? Absolutely, Alfred. Good evening and welcome to the People's Voice here on Ghana Tonight. And I am Imano Samani. Tonight we're hitting the streets to find out from people, according to reports circulating, that the judiciary has dropped by 30% uh, in terms of being impartial. And that report further states that between 2017 and 2023, this has been the decline over the last six years. So we're on the streets to find out from people if they think that the courts have been biased over the last six years. So let's get some thoughts on this. Let's get, let's talk. You don't want your face to show? Okay, sure, 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 that's fine. Uh, he doesn't want his face to show, but, uh, so just come, come this way for me. Uh, so, so we're asking, um, you know, the courts, what do you make of the courts at the moment? Uh, some reports are saying that they have, they've been impartial uh, over the last six years. I mean, even quoting some figures that 30 uh, percent of the courts have been impartial. What do you make of it? And what's your overall thoughts on the judiciary and the court system? Okay. For the courts, they are doing their work. But then we, the public, also... Um, have our own opinion about how they are doing their work. In my honest opinion, I think that um, for the past six years, uh, the judiciary, anytime issues go before them, um, you see that some of their decisions are politically tainted. So, for instance, you can uh, let me cite an example. South, for instance, is still pending before the judiciary. That is the uh, Supreme Court. Then it lowered also, they lowered it down to High Court. It is still pending. It has not, no decision has been taken on that. Now, um, in terms of Parliament, the moment the, the, um, this issue came before the judiciary, quickly they, 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 they took a decision on it. Then the, the issue of the LGBTQ, also going before. Um, before the judiciary, they couldn't, up until now, there is no decision on it. Even it went to the president, the president also um, shoot back um, the, 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 the bill, even to parliament. These are things that uh, I think the judiciary need to do better. Another last one has to do with even the court cases, uh, especially the one, the landmark case of the one that um, Mahama took to the Supreme Court about the elections. You also see also in that that all the almost all the all the judges have to you see seven zero seven zero so 
So it's very surprising where everybody will agree, all judges will agree on one thing. No, it cannot be possible. At least one or two will dissent, like it happened in 2016. You know, during uh, that's 2016, 2017, when the um, Nanado also took the same thing to. You see that people dissent, and honestly, they write they are dissent. So these are things that I think the judiciary need to do better, so that um, in the eyes of Ghanaians or in the eyes of the populace, they will think that. Oh, okay, they are doing a good job and professional job for that matter. That's what I would say. Well, there you have it. Uh, an anonymous uh, uh, opinion on, on this matter. It seems that he, he clearly believes that the courts uh, have been uh, biased. Let's get some more on this particular uh, subject matter. My boss, yeah. uh, so we're finding out what people make of our judicial system. Uh, re reports indicate that the uh, judicial system has been become impartial, yeah. uh, some stating as much as 30%. From where you sit, do you think that the courts are more biased than before? Oh, yeah, it's very true. This time with the court, you know, we don't have uh, uh, anything about the court here. They, they are very biased. If an issue comes, the way they do their thing, you know, people see them, they are not really on top of the issue. Like, example, so, so many instances came out. The way they, they do the matter, if they come to the there, it's a different crowd. Right. Yeah. Okay. About the three seats about the parliament. See, the constitution say that, at the 97 say that, if you switch from your, your camp to a different camp, you automatically lose your seat. So today, they, they, they let us know that the speaker don't have right to, to determine about the, this thing. Yeah. The court system, they're not very good here. Okay. Yeah, thank you. All right. Thank you very much. Well, there you have it, Alfred. Uh, these individuals say that indeed the courts are biased, and that's by way of the people's voice. Back to you in the studio, Alfred. Uh, certainly. You have a say in what we say here on Ghana tonight, and that's the people's voice there, Mano Samani. But this is how the trend graph looks like with, with the with Ibrahim Index on Governance. Take a look at this. Now, Ghana's judicial independence has dropped significantly. With the 2024, there's more Ibrahim index on African governance showing a decline in judicial autonomy from 100 to 50 over the past seven years. And then now we're seeing to 68.3%. Now take a look at this. In, in the year 2014, judicial impartiality was 95.3%, right? Appreciably high. And then it was consistent. In fact, the highest was in 2017. 97 percent then we saw the decline consistently from 2017 based on the ibrahim index on african governance to 75 to 71 to 69 to 68 then it went up a bit to 69.7 percent now 68.3 percent and well conversation continues as to what can be done that is if the judiciary is even minded about this perception and, and what is being done to address this. But on behalf of Resolution, I want to say thank you so much for joining us here on Ghana tonight.